Switchgear plays a vital role in the safe and reliable operation of electrical systems at medium voltage levels. Understanding what switchgear is and how it functions is essential for anyone involved in the design, installation, or maintenance of medium voltage electrical networks. This video provides an in-depth exploration of switchgear in medium voltage applications, covering its various types, components, importance and distribution networks, operational best practices, technological advancements, and safety considerations. By delving into the intricacies of switchgear, readers can gain a comprehensive understanding of its significance and impact on electrical systems. What is switchgear? Switchgear, also known as electrical disconnect switches or electrical control gear, refers to the combination of electrical devices used to protect, control, and isolate electrical equipment. It includes various components, such as switches, fuses, circuit breakers, relays, and meters designed to monitor, protect, and manage electrical systems. Switchgear ensures the prompt detection and isolation of faults, ensuring the safety of personnel and electrical equipment. The Key Functions of Switchgear Switchgear performs several critical functions that are necessary for efficient electrical power management in industrial settings. 1. Protection Switchgear safeguards electrical systems from various electrical faults, such as short circuits, overloads, and voltage fluctuations. It acts as a vital safety measure to prevent damage to equipment, electrical fires, and hazardous situations. 2. Control Switchgear allows operators to control the flow of electrical power, providing a means to start, stop, and regulate electrical equipment in an industrial facility. It ensures smooth and reliable operations while optimizing power usage. 3. Isolation Switchgear provides a means to isolate specific electrical circuits or equipment for maintenance, repairs, or when necessary to prevent further damage. This feature allows workers to safely work on specific areas without interrupting the entire electrical supply. For monitoring, switchgear includes meters and relays that monitor electrical parameters, such as voltage, current, frequency, and power factor. These measurements provide vital information for efficient power management, identifying potential issues, and optimizing energy consumption. Classification of switchgear and its applications. Switchgear is an important part of any substation, power plant, or other setting where electrical power needs to be distributed or managed effectively. There are three primary types of switchgear, low voltage, less than 1 kV, medium voltage, up to 36 kV, and high voltage, above 36 kV. Let's take a more in-depth look at each type. 1. Low voltage switchgear. Also called LV switchgear in short, Low voltage switchgear is designed for systems that carry less than 1,000 volts of electricity. Mostly built in the form of metal enclosed structures, this switchgear typically comprises these separate parts breaker, bus, and cable compartments. Individual breakers are housed in their own compartments, while solid barriers protect the bus compartment from the others. The cable compartment, on the other hand, is accessed from the rear, although some also use front access. Low voltage switchgear is designed with a broad range of capabilities, including arc resistant and arc quenching capacities. Typically, this type of switchgear uses 30 cycles to withstand current breakers. This means the breakers can tolerate 30 cycles of fault current without tripping or getting damaged. Low voltage switchgear application. As its name suggests, low voltage switchgear is meant for low voltage power systems or electrical networks that carry less than 1 kV. As such, you'll find it extensively used in residential and commercial applications such as schools, hospitals, office buildings, and homes. Low-voltage switchgear is usually installed on the secondary side of transformers. Here, it ensures the safe distribution of power into residential buildings or industrial facilities. Other applications include coupling with MCCs to control motor systems, also called motor control center switchgear. Two. Medium voltage switchgear. Unlike low voltage switchgear, which is intended for use in lower voltage applications, medium voltage switchgear is rated for higher voltages of up to 36 kV. MV switchgear must withstand greater electrical distress since it carries more voltage and current. The switchgear is, therefore, available in a variety of insulation and designs, including mineral oil, sulfur hexafluoride, SF6, and other variations such as metal clad metal enclosed, pad mount, vault, and submersible types. Depending on the arc flash rating, 
This type of switchgear is further classified into Type 1, 2, 2B, and Type 2C switchgear. Type 1 switchgear only has arc-resistant devices in the front, while Type 2 has the entire assembly arc-resistant. Type 2B switchgear must be arc-resistant all around. Type C switchgear between compartments as well as all around. Medium Voltage Switchgear Application MV switchgear is often found on both the primary and secondary sides of power. That means application in power generation plants as well as in electricity distribution systems. Most of the time, medium voltage switchgear is used in utility plants such as hydroelectric and solar. Other MV switchgear applications include controlling power distribution in heavy industrial facilities such as oil and gas, mining, and the railway industry. In these situations, different classes of switchgear, such as metal enclosed and metal clad medium voltage switchgear, are used. 3. High voltage switchgear. Switchgear for 36 kV systems and above is known as high voltage or high tension switchgear. Because it handles higher levels of electricity, HV switchgear is prone to arc flashes and must use technologies to prevent or quench them. High voltage switchgear is classified into two major types air and gas insulated. Air insulated switchgear in the high voltage category is normally composed of large equipment and used outdoors. On the other hand, high voltage, gas insulated switchgear is typically indoor equipment. HV switchgear may use oil or oil less breakers. Oil switchgear usually has mineral oil as an insulation medium. Oil less breakers in these types of switchgear rely on other mediums for insulation, such as air, SF6, and even vacuum. High voltage switchgear application. Generally, this type of equipment is employed in applications that involve power sources and power distribution networks. So you will mostly find HV switchgear in power plants, transmission lines, and other utility circuits where it's used to monitor systems, isolate circuits in the event of faults, and perform other functions. Transmission lines convey electricity from generating plants to either cities or neighboring countries. These require the use of high-voltage switchgear consisting of switching and protection devices. The equipment includes isolators and reclusers that automatically break and re-establish connections when a fault is detected. Components of switchgear The components of switchgear include 1. Circuit breakers. These are devices that interrupt the flow of electrical current in a circuit. They are designed to protect electrical equipment and prevent damage due to overcurrents, short circuits, and other electrical faults. 2. Disconnectors. These are used to isolate parts of the electrical system for maintenance or repair. They are typically used in conjunction with circuit breakers and other protective devices. 3. Fuses. These are devices that protect electrical equipment by interrupting the flow of current when the current exceeds a certain level. They are designed to protect against overcurrents and short circuits. 4. Relays. These are devices that monitor the electrical system and activate protective devices when necessary. They are used to detect faults and ensure the safe and reliable operation of the system. Why is switchgear important in electrical networks? Switchgear offers numerous advantages, making it an essential component in industrial settings. Here are some key benefits. 1. Enhanced safety. Switchgear protects personnel and equipment by promptly detecting and isolating faults, reducing the risk of electrical hazards, and ensuring a safe working environment. 2. Improved reliability. By providing effective fault protection and control, switchgear minimizes downtime and equipment damage, ensuring uninterrupted operations and increasing overall system reliability. 3. Efficient fault detection and localization. Switchgear incorporates advanced monitoring and diagnostic features enabling quick identification and localization of electrical faults. This leads to faster troubleshooting and maintenance, reducing downtime. 4. Flexible operations. With the ability to control and isolate specific circuits or equipment, switchgear allows for easier maintenance, upgrades, and expansions without disrupting the entire electrical system. This flexibility enhances operational efficiency. 5. Energy optimization. Switchgear's monitoring capabilities enable the measurement and analysis of energy parameters, helping companies identify energy waste areas and optimize power consumption. This leads to cost savings and sustainability. In conclusion, Switchgear stands as a cornerstone in the realm of electrical engineering, safeguarding systems, enabling efficient operations, and ensuring the safety of personnel and equipment. Its multifaceted functions encompass protection, control, isolation, 
and monitoring, making it indispensable across various voltage levels in industrial and commercial settings. In essence, switchgear represents not only a critical aspect of electrical infrastructure, but also a testament to innovation, adaptability, and safety consciousness in the evolving landscape of electrical engineering and power management. Understanding its significance and impact is paramount for ensuring the seamless operation and longevity of electrical networks in the modern era.